Well, it seems we got more insanity out of what I like to call the Islamic State of Sweden. Uh, in this case, this is uh, just more, more proof of the fact that these so-called liberal democracies have no free speech whatsoever. But this was uh, on Summit News posted by Paul Joseph Watson. This was back in 2020. But it's still relevant today due to the fact that, like I said, these secular liberal humanistic democracies have zero free speech whatsoever. And this is proof of that. Here is uh, the article. It says, a Swedish journalist charged with hate crime for publishing article about Muslim-owned ph Muslim pharmacies. She faces two years in jail for attacking a quote-unquote protected class. A journalist in Sweden was charged with a hate crime and faces two years in prison for publishing an article that questioned whether Muslim-owned Muslim pharmacies would fairly distribute drugs if supplies became limited. Yes, really. Yeah, I mean, that's a perfect reaction. Yes, really, because, you know, uh, they got free speech. Okay, if there's a hate speech law, then there is no free speech. Okay, free speech with so-called limits, that's not free speech whatsoever. And all she did was just question, essentially, that whether these Muslim-owned pharmacies will actually be uh, biased, you know, in times of crisis or times where supplies become limited, or if, or if they're just simply going to not sell anything to the infidels, to the non-Muslims. It's a legit, legitimate question she's asking, but apparently that's apparently it's Islamophobia, apparently, or something like that. Bunch of garbage, but it says here in the article, uh, Ingrid Karlqvist, Karl Karl I'm not good at pronouncing some of these Swedish, Swedish names, and her colleague Maria Callender uh, face a court appearance on November 2nd over an article uh, which they didn't even write but published on their website. Quote, about a year ago, the women contributed, contributed an article contributed an article to their site questioning what would happen if there was a shortage of drugs considering the, the, the uh, disproportionate number of Muslim pharmacists in Sweden. The question was based on their on her knowledge of Islamic law, which teaches that Muslims uh, which teaches Muslims to prioritize Muslims. Uh, in the case of a drug shortage, would what would drugs be given to Muslims before others? And it is a legitimate question. Uh, it says six months later, police contacted the journalist and said they were being charged with a hate crime because the article uh, constituted, quote, incitement to ethnic groups, which are a protected class under Swedish law. Uh, what race is Islam? <laughs> what? Incitement to ethnic groups. So apparently Islam is a race now. See, this, this is what they always do. They like framing the narrative. And if you criticize Islam, you're racist, even though there's pretty much non-Arab Muslims as well. So I guess all the white Muslims are, I guess, maybe Arabs in disguise. All the African Muslims, all the Indian Muslims, all the Afghan, Pakistani Muslims. So they're, I guess they're all just secretly Arabs. Bunch of garbage. But it says here on the article, continuing on, At first I thought they were just going to drop it because it's absolutely crazy. Yeah, it is absolutely crazy. We are journalists for God's sake, said Kara, uh, Kara. Uh, Carl Qu Quivist, probably not saying that right, but who added that the charge is intended to send a signal to other journalists to remain silent on the pearls of mass immigration. They let murderers and rapists run loose, but the so-called hate crime police that they have the most resor have the uh, they uh, sorry they have the most resources. That is what our government is focusing on. She added nothing. She added noting that Sweden was now controlled by an anarcho, anarcho tyranny that targets uh, citizens who who criticize government policy while actual criminals run rampant. The Swedish government funds a radical online hate monitoring group which it, i can't pronounce that swedish thing I, again i'm not good at my swedish the group is headed by thomas adberg a former disgraced police officer reports the rare foundation quote the uh, the uh, group mass reports swedes who write critically about migration and islam online to police officers and it says uh, who have raided such speech offenders and uh, sorry such speech offenders home and placed them under arrest they thought crime team is made up of, of some 15 people including police system developers lecturers lawyers and social scientists the organization refuses to identify the people working for it unquote why so secretive huh well it's probably because they're basically ruining people's lives who uh, will post anything online make any videos write any articles write facebook posts criticizing islam or muslim migration but then you got the thought police and the so-called liberal democracy, which supposedly has freedom and liberty. But, you know, like I said before, free speech is pretty much absent in a lot of these Western liberal, you know, these Western European so-called liberal democracies. Because liberalism is against free speech, too. I'll just, I'll just throw that out there, pretty much. It's, it's only for speech they agree with. Then, then they support free speech. But you criticize Islam or Muslim migration, well, in come the, in come the uh, thought police kicking down your door or dragging you away in handcuffs for committing the crime of saying something on Facebook or making some video online or writing some article. 
you know, that hurts an ethnic group, apparently, because apparently Islam is now a race. It's a bunch of garbage. Uh, I make no bones about it. Islam is, Islam is uh, satanic. Muhammad was a false prophet. And if you don't like that, well, you can go fly a kite for all I care. You can go jump in the lake. So I just wanted to point that out. Uh, if I sound a bit tired, you know, just been up uh, too late, got up too early, had to, you know, do some work. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.